All right, man. So this is a really good episode of Friday Night SmackDown. Some twists, some turns, definitely a crazy turn at the beginning of SmackDown. Uh, Santos Escobar um, pretty much turning on Rey Mysterio, you know, Carlito and them confronting them about what happened at uh, Crown Jewel last Saturday. And Santos was getting in Rey's face, like saying like, yo, dude, like this is this is supposed to be us two, like just you and me, like not him. And um, he was going after Rey and then freaking Zelina was crying and everything. So, very emotional moment, especially if you're an LWO fan. And uh, it was like, damn, man, this is crazy. But um, kind of expected after what happened last Saturday. And then Santos backstage said it. Ray had this coming. So, now, we had an in-ring promo from Bailey, And, uh, you know, Kyrie came out, obviously. And they addressed everything. And Kyrie Zane, you know, was like, um, Bailey, I forgive you. Like, I know what you did all them years ago, but I forgive you now, and they all hugged it out, and then Bianca and the other two ladies came out, Oscar and Charlotte, and that set it up tonight's main event, this to me was probably the best match of the night, probably, um, definitely, uh, Dragon Lee and uh, Cedric, you know, they had, this is their rematch, this is another good match, just like their previous one, I'm telling you, man, Dragon Lee is slowly becoming one of the rising stars um, here on SmackDown, um, starting to really become a fan favorite. Dude is really good at what he does, and Cedric looked good here tonight despite losing, but um, yeah, man, this is all around really good stuff between both guys, so uh, next was LA Knight versus uh, Grayson Waller. LA Knight got a few jabs in on uh, Grayson Waller, which was funny before the match, uh, and by the way, Kevin Owens was on commentary for most of the night because Corey Graves and uh, his girl, Carmella, just gave birth, so took some time off, but um, this was pretty solid here. This was really for LA Knight to get the win, his his win back, and get some momentum, even after losing to Roman. And then you had the main event. Uh, this was not really nothing. It really came at the end with Asuka turning on her girls and joining Damage Control, and Damage Control stood tall, so I'm assuming that this is how you're going to get it with the women's war games match. You know, we got the men's war games match announced, so we're probably going to get the women announced later on once uh, Bianca's team can find another partner. But overall, really good episode of SmackDown. And uh, my predictions for AEW's full gear will be uh, out tomorrow. So.